Hi, welcome back to the Silage Zone. It's July 14th in Northeast Wisconsin, standing in front of a field of P1244Q that is going to be taken for silage this fall. Planted at about 33,000 plants per acre. It's a great time of year to start looking at where things are at in regards to leaf disease, uh, the stage where it's at, potentially for any corn rootworm larvae feeding, and basically just looking to see, do a double check on our planting depth. So I'm gonna go through a few things right now. So again, it's at about V8. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just starting on eight. It was planted on May 12th. It's had about 9.8 inches of rain that we're tracking through granular insights. So I'm looking for any signs of leaf disease. What I've got here is just basically some holcus spot that's not a problem and um, looks in, in great health. Don't see any challenges with any nitrogen or potassium deficiency in the lower leaves. Um, so all in all, I think it's a great start. So now I'm gonna soak it, do a corn rootworm larvae float test. You give it a few moments in the water and uh, move it around a little bit to dislodge the soil from the roots and then take some time to just move the parts of the top away. And if there's any larvae that are there, they'll be white with kind of a brownish end and they'll, they'll come up pretty quick because they do not like to be underwater. So I've seen nothing uh, that's come up in this as it shouldn't with P1244Q being a chrome product. Um, great product as far as drought tolerance and fiber digestibility and puts on a heck of a ear too. So it's a great product for silage and uh, now I'm going to clean this up and we'll take a look and see if there's any scarring on the roots. Here's that same plant pretty cleaned up and you can see just very nice white clean healthy roots, good nodal root system going down, no clipping on the ends. Uh, just a, a very healthy plant with a nice robust spread out root base and if you look closely right in here you can see the seed from where it was planted and when you look at where that's at compared to the ground surface about one and three quarters to two inches below grounds which is ideal so a great job done on the planting and we got a nice healthy plant no damage no leaf disease showing up so we've got a we've got a great start on a silage crop for 2022. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.